a question for you. What's the difference between a battery and your girlfriend? Well, unlike your girlfriend, a battery has a positive side. Ooh. Excuse me, you're so beautiful. What's your sign? Um, I'm an Aries. A oh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, baby. <laughs> Say that again. How do you feel about good? I don't think about that. I don't want to talk about that right now. God bless you, though. You need prayer for anything? You want to pray for me? Yeah, if you need prayer. He's iced out with the Jesus piece. We're talking about God, girl. Let's go. Thank you for their spirits. Ask that you keep them covered and protected from any harm, hurt, or danger, Lord Jesus. Ask that you plant the gospel deep in their souls. You know, at least her friend dragged her away and respect to this man for having self-respect and values. And as for the donut looking thing, we're no class. All I've got to say is... <sighs> Brother, ew, how are you going to approach someone talking to them about, do you know about good hand? You don't even have good hand. You're dressed in this like skin suit that doesn't fit you properly. You gotta wedge up your booty like, come on, man. This girl's talking nonsense, guys. That is ew, as brother here says. Brother, huh? ew. Let's go. You need to prioritize your career over your girl in your Max. 20s. You need to spend said, more of your time and more of your focus on yourself and on your career and be a little bit selfish. Give her less time if you have to. Put the business, put your work, put your career, put your finances first because that is what's going to allow you to take care of the well, girl to the extent. Don't listen to this shawty. She's about to spit some nonsense. We're not here for that. We're not we're not here for that. We're not here for that. We're not here for that. She's gonna say some nonsense. Listen, guys, when you're young, you're in your 20s, you're in your 30s, you need to spend that time elevating yourself, elevating your business, elevating your brand, your personal brand, your socials. If you don't have social media, you don't exist. Huh? You don't exist. You're a nobody. You're a has been. You're number 45, Michael Jordan, bro. You're Michael Jordan on the Wizards, bro. You're a nobody. Okay? Listen, your girl is going to say, no, spend time with me. Don't go to work. Spend time with me. Don't go to work. Don't listen to this shorty, bro. Because the moment you give in and you start spending time with your girl, she's going to regret the fact that, you're, that you started to take priority of your job and you started giving priority to her. Stay strong in the things that you're doing. Stay strong in your business. Do not listen to these girls, bro. The more you spend time away from her, and you level yourself up, the more she will actually come towards you, bro, like a magnet. But the moment you negate your duty as a man and you start spending time with your woman, problem, problematic. Huh? That you want to in the future. I don't disagree. You don't disagree? But if you have the right girl, she'll help you to achieve. No, your... she won't. She it's won't. She's supposed to make the best out of you, not put you down, not hold you back. If someone will really love you, she'll want the best for you. And if she see you in the statement of like grinding, she'll help you grind. Even your girlfriend or future girlfriend, without even realizing, wants you to put your goals first. Because without you doing that, how are you going to protect and provide? Most of these women talk about how they want a successful man that earns so much. How are you going to be that successful man if you've put all your time and effort into her and not into your goals? Also, I think every man needs a purpose and focus. If you don't have that, you're not going to feel good about yourself. See, that's what women don't get. You got to make sure your man is good internally because the world beat them up every day. And there's somebody calling, especially if the man making some money, everybody calling, can I get this, can I get that? But nobody stopped to say, how is your day? Good morning, good afternoon. Simple shit like that means means the world to me. I like, I like this, this one. one. Oh, you know where I could uh, find your number? Oh. <laughs> hey, hey. Hello, I need your number now. What's no, good? I'm sorry. What? what? Wait, hold on. You don't think I'm handsome? Like, You're look not at... my type. What's your type, mama? I don't know how to pinpoint. You're just not in. You... I'm sorry. I'm only I'll down. give you my Instagram. We met in real life, though. We didn't meet on social media. I'd rather just take your number down and... I won't give you my number. I'm sorry. I got to work for the number? Yeah. I'd take it. I'll follow you back. Don't worry. Oh, hell no. Nah. Fellas, never chase a woman or try and convince one to like you, especially one that says that you're not her type. This one was just enjoying the attention and validation. She probably don't like the guy. I'm a homeboy, so she's my girlfriend. I would rather uh, snitch on my... Snitch? Nah, I'd rather just cheat, dog. <laughs> my homies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a very bad man. That toxic masculinity stuff. Okay, so what's toxic Explain. masculinity? Yeah, to Meaning, that. like, where a guy feels Drinks. like being the man of the house is the only correct way to go. That a woman can't do anything on her own. That her only role in the house is to cook and clean. Mm -hmm. While the man... 
What else are you going to do? Huh? You're going to bust out a book about fucking physics and start talking about physics? The fuck do you know about physics, man? Huh? What do you know about LLMs and large language models? What do you know about data science? Come on, bro. Stay in the kitchen. The kitchen is over there. You're going in the wrong direction. You're going in the wrong direction. The kitchen is over there. It's over there. Stop it. Stop playing games with me, dog. And pays all the bills. He does everything else. He makes the decisions. That's toxic masculinity. So you're yeah. saying a man that is toxic is a man that feels like, I like you so much. I want to protect and provide for you. You don't even have to work and be out there competing with no. the economy. I feel like, girl, if nut. somebody smack your butt, I'm going to knock that dude out. If you want to work, you can, but you don't have to really work. I don't consider that being toxic. I consider no. that being so a masculine a man. feeling is different, but when they act on it. No, I literally just said it out loud and some of the girls yeah i want a man like that i like that toxic masculinity is another one of these bullshit terms that was popularized on social media it's a load of crap you get toxic people they can be men and they can be women and being a traditional man like this donut's basically explaining is probably the opposite of being toxic do you think that any woman in the world could be as strong as the strongest man in the world yeah Actually, with steroids no you must be so women and gender studies <laughs> That is the worst. Listen, a lot of y'all young women are going to school and wasting time. There are more educated women going to universities and colleges than there are men. Women are elevating in money. Women are elevating in status. And they're not looking at the people down below. The higher a woman climbs, the less options she has. Because women generally do not date down. If she dates down, most likely the man is a simp. And also, he will be treated like absolute garbaggio. Okay? If you want to study, uh, ladies. <laughs> Probably being one. Uh, that'd be like the top answer on Family Feud. <laughs> so if it says being one, number one answer. Is there male studies? No. See, that's the problem with America. Is it's <laughs> We're not as complicated. Most of us are simple creatures. And we also realize that it would be a waste of time and money. There's so many shitty jokes right now. Like, we're in classes, like, cookie 101, like, stuff. <laughs> I know as a straight white dude, you're not supposed to talk about women's use of makeup, and I'm all for it. Do what you gotta do to feel your most beautiful, but the fake eyelash game on some of these women. I mean, you got the bottom of a broomstick hanging off your face. I Bro, show me that here with them leaves. The lily leaves, dude. Listen, I will tell you something. This is a secret. Shh. Shh. Come here, everybody. Everybody, everybody, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Let me tell you a secret. Let me tell you a secret. The longer a woman's eyelashes are, the more delusional and bonkers she is. Guarantee you. Put it to the test. Tell me if I'm wrong. Hmm? I was ordering coffee one day. This woman was blinking. I was getting hit with a breeze. She was generating wind. He ain't lying. Thanks, babe. Lying. Thank you, babe. Thanks, babe. Thank you, babe. Thanks, babe. That's a keeper. Ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to ten. You can't pick seven starting with you. Go ahead. Rating my own look? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, a ten. Ten. I'm going to go for an eight. Okay. Yeah, eight. On like a really good day, eight. I think an eight. I was going to say seven and a half, but eight. Four. <laughs> I give myself a five. We have two tens at the table. Really? Yeah. Who do you think the prettiest girl in the room is? I would say I think you're very pretty. Thank you. So why do you think she rates herself less than you rate yourself if she's the prettiest? I don't know. I think that'd be a question for her. So who's yeah. the second prettiest girl? <laughs> This is so foul. The reason this question is asked, it's not actually ever asked to be offensive. Mm. It's asked to determine the delusion level. Mm. If I'm comparing myself to the most attractive men on planet Earth, mm. yeah, I'm a f four. Ryan, he's delusional. He ain't five either. But the thing is, at least a five is more rational and reasonable than I'm a 10 on par with Ryan's the most loser. beautiful women in the existence of the world, right? I mean, I think we all have to be a little delusional to get through our lives. You don't. I'll forever submit to you. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. I'll forever about. submit to you. Let's go. Nick, I'll forever submit to you, Miles. Yes. I'll forever respect you, Miles. Yes. I'll forever honor you, Miles. Yes. As the head of our home and no other. It's cool she wants to be submissive and recognize him as a man of the house, but this shit's too over the top for me. I'll be embarrassed. You ain't got to do all that. I ain't embarrassed, bro. Take them drawers off, girl. I'm using my drawers right now as a nut rag, as some sort of rag for my face. I nutted these just a couple minutes ago, and now I'm using it to wipe my face. Girl, 
You don't have, you don't got to do all that. You don't got to do all that. Uh uh, you ain't got to do all that. Imagine if in part two, when it's his turn, he matches her energy and says, I will forever protect you, then just starts knocking people out. So I want to be a wife, but I don't want no man with kids, even though I got kids. What? That's crazy. I know. Why don't you want a man with kids and you have, do you have primary custody? Do you have primary custody? Yes, I do. I'm fine with kids. I don't like the baby mama drama. How many fathers do you have? One. Where is he? Incarcerated. For the rest of his life? Mm, not for the rest of his life, no. But he's married. Doesn't matter. Still could be drama. You think so? I don't think so. I don't, I've never had He's drama. alive. He's oh, alive. But I've never he's had but he, okay, but he's alive. Correct. You don't want a man with kids because you don't want to deal with possible drama. But you want a man, a high value man, to deal with a woman with kids when a man is in jail. I know. Yep. That's unlike. Dude, this is the most delusion I have ever seen. How come it's always the black queens, quote unquote, the black queens? Because they're always talking nonsense. Oh. You got two baby daddies. You got a baby daddy that's in jail, but you don't. Uh, come on, man. Shut up. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. How old are you? 20. 21. How long you been together? Five years. And how'd you meet? We went to school together. So at five years in, why haven't you proposed to her yet? <laughs> oh, my fault. Shit. I'm still shit. a young nigga, bro. I ain't trying to get married and shit. So. We got a baby though. Type shit. So you have a kid together. You have a kid together, but you're not willing to get married. Come on, explain to me this nonsense, bro. Explain to me this nonsense. Like, come on, man. A lot of y'all young niggas out here, bro. Come on, get it together, guys. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Get it together. Two. Two kids. Mm -hmm. Shut up. So how do kids manage to come before the wedding ring? Be quiet. You know, accidents happen. That's... That's not an accident, bro. The nigga decided not to wear a condom and he busted all up in that. The nigga went, feel he busted all up in that. That's not an accident. You don't do that twice. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh. So you don't believe in marriage? Come on. Oh, no, I do. Who said that? You did. I you didn't say did. I don't believe in marriage. You said you don't want to get yeah, married. Yeah, you said you don't want I'm not trying to get married right now. Yeah, he's saying that he's young and he ain't trying to get married, which I agree with, but he's already got two kids. <laughs> My guy, you're already settled with a whole family. You're basically married already. Mm. It's like he's trying to escape being tied down, but you already are, bruv. Some manners. Have some manners. How greedy. Have some manners. Some manners. Some manners. Bro, Sky is a whore, bro. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. If you're proud of taking a picture with a corn star, then you're a simp that probably needs Michael. Get some help. I feel that all of these guys need to find a second job and keep themselves busy instead of doing all of this cheating. That's all I'm saying. Well, some of you ladies need to learn how to boil an egg and get off OnlyFans. That's all I'm saying. You call me Jay? Yeah. Who the f is Jay? You. Nah. Jay? Yeah. Who the f is Jay? Nah, that's crazy. You call me Jay? Is he Jay? Uh, Who the f is Jay, bro? You don't know? Right. Dude, I like how there's no accountability ever with these women, bro. You're out here calling your man a different name because you already spent the night or a couple hours with another man named Jay. Then you pull up on your man's and you call him a name that he is not. That man is not Jay. He is not Jay. He does not respond to Jay. Yay. He does not respond to yay. If we translate yay into Spanish, it translates to yay. Is he yay? Yay is not him. Okay? Huh. Now you don't know? Where's my nut rag? Who the f is Jay? Mm. Where's my nut rag? Come wow. On. That's your side nigga? Oh. Huh? Yo, drop, that, you f drop that shorty off right on the corner, dog. Don't play like this. You mean you don't on. know? My name is not Jay, my nigga. Come on, don't play like that, man. You say you know? You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> As in, I don't know Jamie. You don't know who? Jay. Jay. Who the f is Jay? Hmm. That's the f No. So who the f Get rid of this. You already know how I feel about it. If she cheats or she's hanging out with somebody else, bro, she belongs to the streets. Appreciate you guys for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.